Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit Reading for April 2021. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. My intentions for this reading, Scorpio, is to provide and channel messages from Spirit for you for the month of April. If there's anything you need to be aware of, and as far as, you know, love, romance, career, finances, spiritual evolution, anything to watch out for, whatever Spirit wants to communicate to you and bring forward, I will provide these messages for you for the month of April. If you have any beings of the light that you'd like to call forward at this time, I welcome you to do so now. This can be your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your higher self, or even any past and loved ones. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, north node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message. Also, not every single message in this reading may be for you as this reading is general. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Scorpio, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Finally, before getting into the reading, I do want to say that April 20th will mark the two-year anniversary of me starting this channel, and I cannot even believe it's been two years. It's been such an amazing journey with you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel, and I do want to give back to you. So I'll be selecting some lucky subscribers to win a goodie box from me that contains tarot decks, crystals, candles, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in entering the contest or the giveaway, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. Scorpio. Where do I begin? Okay, so when I picked up this deck, I heard the Lady Gaga song, Born This Way. Um, and I was like, huh, tell me more, Spirit. And then I saw this hatched egg, which is very, you know, April-like, Easter-like, but there was a dragon in it. A baby dragon. And I feel, Scorpio, that there is something, a gift, an ability, or even good karma that you were born in this lifetime with. And people are amazed by you. People see that you manifest what you want. And sometimes they think, oh, it's just, they're lucky, they have good luck, but it's not that. It's, for some of you, this gift that you have, I don't know if it's psychic, I feel that a lot of it's manifestation, magic, even for some of you, if that resonates with you, but it's ancient, it's ancestral, and it's been down the bloodline. Even if you feel your parents don't um, associate themselves with this type of thing, it's been given to you through your bloodline for some of you. A very powerful energy, a very magical energy, and Scorpio, you have that ability, should you use it, should you believe in it, to manifest your greatest desires, your success and your achievements. And for some of you, you have a birthmark and that's a marking of that. And I don't know if that runs in the family or it's just letting you know it's in a special place or it's a special shape or whatever, but that's the mark that you carry that contains that energy. I don't know, I'm excited to see what this is. Are you manifesting something big time here, Scorpio? But you do have a gift, you know that. Whatever that gift is for you, whether you work it for your finances, you work it for your career, um, 
But let's go ahead and get it started. So here we have the snake. So some of you guys could have snake totem animals or the snake resonates with you guys in some way. And it says, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Okay. So yeah, you know what? With people kind of being like, oh, they're just lucky or any type of energy Scorpio where people don't see how you do it. It's as if you just achieve what it is you desire, what it is that you hope for, and you're patient and steady with it. There's jealousy around that. And some of you have been picking up on that, especially recently. You've been ascending, you've been rising in strength and power and intuition. And it's been leading you on the right paths and on the right journeys to get to where it is you need to go in this lifetime. And know that, first of all, yeah, some of you, this gift is intuitive, is psychic, is healing. You're a healer. And you're meant to do great things with this ability. Also, manifester. And be careful by the people who want to discredit you for the work you put in for yourself. Just writing it off as, oh, you know what, they just, they were just given that easily because you weren't. You have, with the snake, transformed in so many ways through different phases of your life. And with each transformation you've gone through, each skin you've had to shed, you've come out stronger for it, more powerful for it, wiser for it. And it was not an easy process. Someone just doesn't understand that because they never went through that. They didn't go through the work to transform, to evolve. They were happy staying in their lower vibration. So someone who's never been through a transformation process or multiple transformation processes like you have, Scorpio, will just write it off as, you know, happy-go-lucky, easy, not that hard. I could do it if I wanted it to, but they can't. I don't know. There's some bitter energy around you that just needs to be ignored, quite frankly and honestly. And it's from a place of jealousy. But yeah, your powers, your gifts are increasing. They're rising. And you're becoming more powerful in who you are, in your confidence and what you can achieve every day in this. Continue to rise, Scorpio. And I have this on my <laughs> Instagram profile. Um, continue to rise. What doesn't rise with you was meant to be left behind. So some of you are even leaving things behind, shedding skins of behaviors or people so you can continue on your path of growth and of evolution. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the plane here. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. So you guys are, you guys are traveling for some of you in April. If it's not traveling, I feel you have that connection to spirit to your ancestors and you're that bridge from heaven and earth and some of you can make money off of this or have a career in this because it almost comes naturally to you Scorpio and for some of you it took many past lives to develop your abilities and your gifts to where it is at now but you're moving forward you're moving ahead and you're going into a completely different phase in your life Some of you may get an opportunity to travel, but your life will become more full. And there is a powerful force with you and within you. Because some of you guys have like ancient spirit guides, whether that is from your bloodline or an ancient spirit guide that has been with you through each lifetime you reincarnated in. And they're here to stay. And they're here to be your mentor and they're here to grow you and you feel them by getting goosebumps or by getting like a breeze on you. It's hard to explain, but you'll know what I'm talking about if that resonates with you. But in April, your power is just going to increase. And it's not over, you know, even after you achieve what it is you want to achieve through your career, through life in general, you just keep on attaining more and more but know that you are a powerful being and don't let anyone try to discredit you 
or to write you off or to underestimate you because you are not to be underestimated. I don't know why I just heard Slytherin. <laughs> Some of you could be in the house Slytherin. Really random. Let's keep going. But it's part of that magic you have. Maybe that's what it was saying. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of April? Oof. Oof. Okay, wow. So we have love here. And then we have silence. And then under this, we have home. Okay, so different messages for different groups of you. So for some of you, you know, you may be waiting to hear from someone. You have been waiting for someone to come back. You know, you're not going to make the first move. You're already solidified in yourself, what you have done, the effort you have put in, and now it's their turn. And this person in love is seeing you evolve, is seeing you grow. It has Even if you know, you're not communicating, they may have access to your social media. They may have access to you through friends and family members. They ask about you and they see you are thriving and surviving and living your life. And they're staying patient for when it is the right time to come back, if there is a time. Now, others of you with this love and silence here, When you recognize your own power, the more you recognize the love that you have for yourself. And you truly know that even in times where things are a bit quiet, not much is happening, you're just on the next path to creating whatever it is you want to create now. Like you are someone that visualizes, you could be clairvoyant. You visualize what it is that you want. And once your mind is made up, you're patient in achieving it. You will take as long as it needs. And Scorpio, you operate from a place of love. You operate from a place of love. And from operating from that mindset and that energy of love, lower vibrational people cannot affect you. It's like the shield you have around you where they try to zap in their crappy ways and it like deflects. It just shoots right back at them. Because the love that you have built for yourself or have come to find for yourself cannot be disrupted. Your peace cannot be disrupted. Your power cannot be disrupted. Your truth cannot be disrupted. And maybe it's taken you a long time to come to this place of self-love within yourself. From being alone, from not being understood, from being judged or ostracized for being who you are. It's like almost as if for some of you, since you were a child, just the way you learned was not by, you know, the public school system. You have a very creative mind, a very out of the box way of thinking. And some of you may have been shamed for that. Maybe you were daydreamers and you know what, school like math and history wasn't as important to you as dreaming a whole like, I almost feel like when you were daydreaming, Scorpio, or even now when you're clairvoyant and your clairvoyancy is acting, you're, that's when you're in touch with spirit. That's when you're in touch with the spiritual world. And that's where you feel most at home. And, you know, you would get criticized for that or judged for that. You'd have imaginary friends. But you know what, Scorpio, even if you were judged for it, criticized for it, bullied for it, it, it doesn't affect you anymore because you know that's the best part of yourself and to hold on to that part of yourself. And then with silence, yeah, you're patient about something here. You know something is coming into fruition, coming into manifestation because things do for you because you are that manifester. You are that powerful creator. And you know divine timing is working at play in some area in your life. But you're patient because you'll know you will achieve it. And others of you, you've already recently achieved something. You've already ascended, transformed, received an award, received whatever it is you've been waiting for. And now you're planning for your next moves. What next do I want to manifest? And you've already started to visualize it. But with home, 
you know, some of you could be trying to get a new home, move to a different place, but really what I feel is that you're now accepting yourself as who you are or have been learning this process for the last few years and you're feeling comfortable with your abilities, with your skills, with your strengths, and even with your weaknesses. But you have that foundation within yourself that cannot be shaken, that cannot be broken, that cannot be told anything other than this is who I am. And I accept myself wholly for it and I live within my truth. Beautiful. Someone could have like a rose quartz next to their bed on their desk or you work with rose quartz. If you don't get rose quartz because I do feel it will even enhance your creation, your abilities and your love for yourself. Let's keep going. What does Scorpio need to know? Oof. Hasn't that this been the card? Patience. And it says, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play it while you wait. And then flow. Yeah, this flow comes naturally to you, Scorpio. The flow of magic. The flow of creation. It's almost as if I'm feeling Empress and High Priestess energy at the same damn time. And that's powerful. Regardless if you're male or female. Maybe a hint of magician there. This is all about energy. And it says, find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome, release your expectations. You've already done this. This is a lesson you've already learned. You let the flow in. You welcome the flow in. You even let welcome the storms in because you know through the storms you will increase. You will get better. You will learn and you will grow from it. But there is something coming your way, Scorpio, and you feel it in your gut. You feel it in your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra. And even your crown chakra, you're receiving the messages and the guidance from the powerful force that is within and around you. So know it is yours. And you're not afraid of it. You're not worried about it. You know it will come. And unfortunately, I feel the need to say, you know that there's people who are waiting for your fall, but you will not fall. So let them watch. Maybe they're like, hmm, yeah, Scorpio hasn't gotten it yet. You will, and they'll be fooled. They'll feel, I don't know, whoever that is around you just needs to go. <laughs> so, ooh. Okay, Two of Cups is coming out. Cancer energy. For some of you, this could be an excise sending bad energy your way. Um, not wanting to see you happy because you're not with them. But I do feel a lot of you Scorpios have met someone that you're feeling compatible with, that you're feeling strong with, that is someone that you see vibing with, that you see getting along with and creating something beautiful together. Um, others of you, this is relating to the powerful force that is with you. I, I don't know how to describe it any other way, but they're right there with you. Call upon them. It feels like a powerful god goddess energy um an ancient magical energy i mean shaman energy maybe even for some of you that is helping you create whatever you emotionally desire king of wands leo energy some of you could have leo in your chart yeah you really are confident in who you are and what you can do or you're getting there and it, it, it's been a battle, it's been a long time, but now that you have this confidence and knowing this power within you cannot be faded, cannot be disrupted, there's nothing you can't achieve, Scorpio. Own it, feel it. Let that inner lion energy come about within you to guide you, to help you create, to go for your dreams, to go for your goals and even to protect you at times if need be. How? What else? Yeah. And then patience under the Ten of Swords. Honestly, Scorpio, the worst is over. Gemini energy. 
like I said, you've been through multiple phases of transformation. You've been through multiple times of difficulties. And the beautiful thing about it is that you know it's all to enhance you, to evolve you, and to grow you stronger, and that's it. It's not meant to hold you down. It's not meant to break you. That's the beautiful energy that Scorpios are kind of blessed with, with the life path that they're on currently of eternal transformation and evolution that really all of us go through. But Scorpios understand it's a part of life. And whatever you've decided to leave behind, whatever you decided to end, was the right choice, was the right decision, because it's leading you to a new beginning of fulfillment. And at the bottom of the deck, the world card, fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. You are meant to succeed. You are meant to be recognized. You are meant to be your own creator to create your own world, your own existence. You are powerful. You know that, or you're coming to know that. And I'm seeing a dream catcher in my mind's eye. Some of you could own one, but you go after your dreams and you don't stop until they're caught. And although so many give up on it and they don't understand how you go for it, again, it doesn't matter. You are who you are. You know your gifts, you know your talents. And it doesn't matter what some hater has to say, to be honest. There's nothing you can't achieve, Scorpio. And the power is invested in you. So whatever cycle is coming to an end for some of you with this Ten of Swords, um, you know it's fully closing out. Whether that is that energy, that jealous, bitter energy around you, or it's just even, you know, reminding you of everything you've been through and looking where you are now and how much powerful you are because of it. It's amazing. April is just going to enhance you, is just going to grow you, is just going to solidify the feeling of the power you have within yourself through experiences, through people, through opportunities. But more importantly, through the trust and the confidence that you have within you. And not feeling guilty about it. You know, like some people, you know, were raised to kind of think that we can't have a confidence within ourselves. Of course, yeah, there's overconfidence. Of course, yeah, there's arrogance. But you don't have that. And people may project it onto you because of all you have accomplished and you being proud of it. But that doesn't, again, just throw it back onto them. Have it like a water on a duck. Roll it off you. It has nothing to do with you. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, so for the final message here, we're going to go ahead and pull a card from this deck. And I'm going to ask your angels if there's anything else you need to know right now in this moment for April. Or just for your mental clarity. <laughs> what does Scorpio need to know right now, Spirit? Okay. Wow. Go outside amongst nature to ground yourself and center your soul. So some of you could have earth in your chart, strongly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this also, I feel, Scorpio, you have a very strong connection to earth. Go outside. I feel that you have a lot of animal medicines around you. Um, work with the forces of earth to ground you when you kind of feel ready to take on another manifestation so it comes about in the 3D with you. And it says, take time out. Give yourself time to have fun. So remember, remember, Scorpio, as you are a badass, as you continue to manifest, to achieve, to grow, give yourself that time to celebrate all you've accomplished, to celebrate how far you've come before you go into the immediate next thing. You don't want to give something else something to hate it, or someone else to give a reason to hate on you. I don't know. But spend some time outside. I think you will enjoy it. Meditate outside, maybe. And remember to ground yourself and ground the energies that you can manifest in the 3D. Because the flow is with you, the force is with you. 
beautiful reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that this has given you clarity and insight in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.